Hey, what's up? I'm Switchback Mongo. In this episode of Hardcore Minecraft, I want to make my own nether island. Not just to have one though, even though it does feel pretty cool to have my own island, but merely as a first step for my next major build project, which is going to be a potion brewery and a nether wart farm isolated in a lava ocean. That's pretty cool. And so far, I think I found the ocean I want to build in. One with a beautiful warp forest surrounding it and even a bastion on the shore. But get this, it's already got an island in the center, but it still needs some work. This island needs to be cleared and expanded and a lot of the surrounding land needs to be removed, which sounds like a lot of work in of itself but I can't just stop there. I also need to transform the ground cover with some new materials, and by the end of this episode, I think I got something that looks pretty cool. And hey, if you think so too, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, because this is just the setup for an amazing project, and I think you'll like what this place will turn into. But enough talk, I have a lot of work ahead of me. All right, Puppo, it's 1 a.m. on a Saturday night, and I think that's as good of a time as any to start a new hardcore episode. Good of a time as any to start the nether project, so wish me luck. I think this is gonna be scarier than starting the Guardian Farm, if I'm being totally honest. Spooky Steve, Spooky Alex, how's it going? Really, I started this project last night. I went around looking at my potential site options. Looking at the screenshots today, I really think I've picked out the site for the next mega project. And lucky for me, it's actually in a pretty convenient spot. Let me show you. Man, look at that thing. What the heck? Look at that thing. I am cracked at this game. That's a good farm right there. How about we start here, though? Those of you that have been around for a long time in the series know that this is my Wither Skeleton farm. I've spent a lot of time here, obviously. I mean, you can tell by all the slabs how much time I've spent here. But last night while flying around to try to find where I wanted to build my nether project, I was looking specifically for large lava oceans or lava lakes, whatever you want to call them. And my idea for the project is to build my own island in a lava ocean. But I ended up coming across this site that's just over the ridge here from my Wither Skeleton Farm with an island already in the center. And it's like the perfect scene that I want to have. Even if the island wasn't here, I would still take this site over any of the others that I found. I like that the warped forest surrounds it, at least on half. I can do my own custom biome here if I want. And not to mention, there is a bastion right next to it, which is awesome. And the best part about this bastion is that it was generated before piglin brutes were a thing. So there's not gonna be any brutes in there. However, this site is not 100% perfect. There is going to need to be some work done here. And that's what I'm planning to do this episode. This episode, I am getting this site fully prepared. And what that's gonna include is I need to work on the island a lot. I need to clear all of the trees to start out with. I need to level a lot of the island. I need to get rid of a lot of these lava flows that come from the ceiling. And I also need to fully eliminate the island that's above my main island. That weird piece floating up there that's like one block thick in a lot of places, that's just weird. I don't want that to be there. I might need to get rid of that one too. So I mean, the, the list of tasks, pretty easy. The time it's going to take, not as easy. So, I mean, without getting too far into it, I think the first thing I need to do is get rid of all the trees and level out this island. It's gonna be like a little bit of reverse terraforming. Terra eliminating, terra mining. I don't know what you'd call that. But I need a few things first. So really, what's on my list? I really just need to pick up fire resistance potions, and I'm pretty sure I have some. That's only three minutes though. I need to go rebrew these for eight minutes. Boom, boom, bam, easy. Oh, you know what? Actually, a beacon would be sort of big brain for resistance and strength. That's pretty much all I need. I need to craft up my iron blocks for that though. And that's three stacks, easy. I should have two beacons here too. Fingers crossed for beacons, please. Oh, two perfectly, almost poetic. Okay, and then I know I have shulkers, four shulkers of netherrack. That's good, that's gonna be good for the terraforming if I need to do any. All right, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back out there. If I'm gonna be working out here for a thousand days, even though I don't think this project's gonna take a thousand days, if I'm gonna be working out here for a long time, I should probably figure out a better flight path than this. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm starting a new mega project. I f I'm jumping into it so fast that it doesn't feel right. But like I say, it's not gonna be as big as the ocean monument. It's not as monumental. Monumental ocean monument, duh. Okay, so I learned beacons can work through, they can shine through bedrock. So I can have it down here. I just need to carve all the way up to the ceiling here. Okay, that worked. That should work also. I've never had a beacon in the mainland nether. I wanna see this. Oh, that looks awesome. I might as well dump out my water bucket. There's gonna be no point to it. I need a lava bucket. I need. Oh no. 
Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? That's gonna... Uh, dang it! I need to be smarter than that. The lava is gonna be a nightmare on this project. Oh my gosh. Okay, step one, trees. Take the trees down off of the island. the squad here what the heck man they're all carrying things so they're never gonna despawn here this is what i wanted the bucket of lava for what the heck it doesn't even kill him what the frick man how how much health do you have there we go all right vines get rid of the vines oh there it is aggro my first enderman oh he's he's on fire is he gonna teleport up here Yo, he's here. Oh my gosh, dude, like, what do I do? I'm scared right now. Dead. Oh, I have set myself on fire. 2 a.m. brain, 2 a.m. brain, sleepy back Mongo. That is a small island. I'm definitely gonna need to add, a, add some more to it. I need to add more around this direction. First things first, I need to level it. I need to flatten it. I need to get rid of this weird bridge that's here, and then I'll think about expanding it. The Endermen are all back. What is this? Leave my island. You are not welcome. Man, that thing is small. That is a small island. It looked so big before. When you're standing on it, it feels like it's a lot bigger too. That's the weird part. That's probably a good stopping place for mining. I think I should go around and form the outside now. I needed to expand out into this, and I got plenty of room to expand out this way too. Both of those directions. I'm just winging this. I'm just winging this guy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just winging some shapes. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, what the, f what the heck? Hold on, that looks sick. That's a sick island. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it to it. What the heck? It's like a butterfly. This is a sick island. I think I can make this. I think this is like the general shape. I think I go ahead and fill all of this in and then I can start sharpening it, making it a little, a little more rugged and less computer-like. I guess that's it. I'm gonna fill in the first layer. I'm filling in the first layer tonight and then I'm going to bed. What am I gonna do about these guys, actually? I didn't think about this. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the ones that are in the lava right where I need to fill in my island. Look at this. Champion block placer. Will you just like kind of go out? No, you won't. This doesn't hurt them, right? Climb it, climb it, climb, 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 climb. Go, 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 go. No, you're not doing it right. Now what are you gonna do? Okay, this is gonna work. Easy, I did it. I figured out how to get him out without hurting him. Lesson learned, I should trap them, keep him there, and then I'll come back to get him. Easy, that's it. Island is filled. This is big now, this is exciting. This is a big island. Tomorrow, I'll probably terraform it. Maybe I'll get to take down this roof island. I don't know what to call this thing. This is, it's officially started. All right, day two, bright and early. Just woke up. So this is gonna be, this is a good, good way to start the day. The shape of the island, I like. I think this is spot on. I got some terraforming to do, but I think the shape of it all is nice. I think what I wanna start out with first though is actually getting rid of this floating island above my main island. And after that, I mean, what's left after that? Terraforming, get rid of the island, get rid of this peninsula maybe, and get rid of a lot of these lava columns. And I don't think it's gonna take all that long. I think it should be pretty easy. This is gonna be such a cool project. Okay, whatever. There's not even anything to talk about this morning. I just, I need to start mining. This definitely looks so much better. This is awesome. Look how much space there is above. This is so cool. What's next? What's next for me? Do I get rid of the peninsula now? I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna leave it for today. I kind of like how it fits right in. Like it looks like these two pieces used to be connected. It's like good old South America and Africa. There's like two puzzle pieces. I'm gonna leave it. It looks like it's meant to be here. Hey, gas, get away from my beacon. Don't touch it. We're gonna have problems if you touch that beacon. You know what? No, we have problems now. I am actually cracked at this game. What the heck was that? I'm actually cracked at this game. I also went ahead and removed this second floating island. It was just crowding the main island a little too much and I thought the scene would look much better if it were more open. And luckily for me, 
I was right. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this panorama of the warped forest. I didn't realize how much those islands up above were taking away from the view. This is awesome. All right, well, on to the scarier part, probably the scariest part of this whole thing. I think now it's time to get rid of all of these lava columns. There's not as many as I thought. I need to get rid of one, two, three, four, five. That's it. I should be able to do that all on one potion. There goes nothing, I guess. We climbing. <laughs> Look at that view. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's better. That's better. Column number two. Please no ghast. Where are you? Please no. Got it. That's it. I'd say this looks pretty good. This is all nice and open now. I think I'm done with lava. I pretty much just have two things left to do here. I need to do a little bit of terraforming, just a first pass at shaping the island. And then I need to bring some dripstone and cauldrons here so that I can build a lava farm, which I don't even know how those work. I'm gonna have to look that up before I build it. And then I think that's gonna be like a good start to this project. That's, that's gonna be a really good start. I don't miss. Seeing how fast this whole first stage is gone shows me that I don't think this is gonna be a thousand days project. This is gonna be much quicker. Enderman, listen, I appreciate your willingness to help build this island, but I'm gonna need you guys to figure out where to place the blocks because you are placing them in all of the wrong places. <laughs> That's it. I think it's the shape of the island. A little funky there, but that doesn't matter because this is where we're going to be building stuff. It's all going to get covered up. That looks like a pretty good natural island. I'm satisfied with that. This place has actually changed a lot and just a little bit of a little bit of time working here. This is really cool. I think the last thing to put together for it is just a lava farm, just so that I can start filling in the pieces where I messed up, like right back there. And then after that, I'll be fully set up to actually start building next week. I gotta really come up with a design though, but enough talk. All right, well, I looked it up while I was sitting here repairing my tools and lava farms are actually really easy. I just need lava, a couple of cauldrons and some dripstone and then random blocks and that's it. Surprisingly simple. But after looking at it, it gave me another idea for this project. I'll have to explain it once I'm done with this. Okay. That's done. Really what I realized after looking up how to make a lava farm is that A, they're really simple to make, but B, they're not very fast unless you make a giant one. And I don't have the materials to make a very big one right now, but it got me thinking that I should include a lava farm in this nether project of mine, a large scale one. Because up until now, what's up Popo? The only thing that I have thought to put in this nether project is a setup for brewing potions, which is a good purpose, but it's definitely not as big as things like my end project that had an enderman farm and a wither kill chamber, or as big as the ocean monument project that had multiple things, a village kelp farm, guardian farm, it had it all. But I think adding a lava farm to this project will make it a lot more valuable. And so today I'm gonna set up just a simple one with the little bit of dripstone that I have. You know what, that's actually not too bad for a starter. 20 dripstone, that's not awful. I got plenty of the blocks and I already have some lava buckets too, so that's good. This in my inventory right now is actually everything I need for the lava farm. I just need blocks. I'm gonna make it out of glass, cause why not? Oh wait, I didn't even think about the cauldrons. I need cauldrons. I gotta go out to my, my s snow farm, I guess I could call it for cauldrons. But this is good. I think that there's going to be multiple things that I add to the project as I continue working on it. I'm really jumping into this. I have not had a lot of thought about it. I know what I want it all to look like, but I haven't thought about what purpose it all needs to serve. And the more purpose, the better the project, in my opinion. This is spooky. I don't like being out here at night. Mine quickly. Yikes, dude. See, that's the scary thing. Frick these creepers, man. Okay, that's 20 cauldrons. Get me out of here. I hate this. Oh, man. Frick, man. What the heck is that? Oh, my God. Game is out to get me today. It's okay. I'm, I am the reaction time champ. Unstoppable. Okay, I just gotta remember to come back this way. I'll get it right. So there we go. Now I have everything that I need to make a lava farm. Okay, where do I want to put this thing? I mean, this looks nice and flat here. I don't have any problem with building it right here. This is nice. One thing I want to test first though. Does that not work? Oh wait. Oh, it does work. What do you know? Perfect. Okay. That makes it easy. 
Wait, how is there lava dripping right now? What? You've got to be kidding me. Stop. I don't understand why lava is dripping from these right now. And it makes me worry that this isn't actually going to work. But I think I did it right. I sure hope so. Oh, wow, it actually is working. I already got one, too. That's awesome. That's it. Lava farm. I think this is my island, though. I think I finally have it. Well, no, don't get me wrong, I liked this, but I didn't want to end the episode here. I put just a bit more time in on stream trying to come up with new ground patterns, and that proved to be rather difficult. Just look good, please. Please just look good. But the next morning, I started using a combination of deep slate and dead coral fans that looked like singed wildlife, and it was at this point that I could say, this is my island. Oh man, I'm gonna be so excited to build here. This may not seem like anything crazy right now, but I think I'm going in a good direction here. And I think I'm ready to start the design process next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun working on this and I'm really excited about what this is all gonna turn into. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you.